Learn how to capture the heads of your enemies. Hello and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. This is a show that'll teach you how to become a Minecraft expert in no time. Player heads were added to Minecraft in version 1.4.2 and I can't believe it has been so long since the release of that for me to cover it here in a tip. Heads come in a few different forms. There is the wither skeleton skull, the skeleton skull, the creeper skull, the villager skull, and the player head skull. They're all named skulls inside of Minecraft, but you get the point. Uh, you can easily get a wither skeleton skull by killing a wither in the nether. There's a 2.5% chance that it will drop when you kill them, either with your sword or with a wolf. You can increase that chance by using looting on your sword. You can get the other heads, except for the player heads, by using a charged creeper to kill that mob. And that's how you get a zombie, a creeper, or a skeleton head. What do you use these things for? Well, there's a few different things. One, you can use it as decoration. You can put it in your world, you break them with anything, pick them up and place them around. They have orientation, just like signs, so they'll face in all directions. You can also use the wither skeleton skulls to spawn the wither, but I bet you probably knew that. You can also use the creeper head to create the creeper face on flags and the wither skeleton skull to create the skull and crossbones on a flag. You can use any head to create the creeper head explosion effect inside of any firework star. Another cool thing is that Mark, known as Mark IRL on Twitter, created a lot of heads that players can spawn in that their skins will never change. So you can always expect this head to have a specific skin so you can use them in your world as decoration. Of course, you do need to have mod powers in order to spawn them in. And finally, you can take these heads and put them on your head. It's Headception. You can wear any of these heads on your player. It doesn't obstruct your view like the pumpkin does. It uh, just just looks cool. It's just neat. Now it doesn't it doesn't mean that uh, you can look at Endermen. You if you look at Endermen, they're still going to attack you. So it doesn't do the effect that the pumpkin does, but can look really snazzy. It fits on one layer outside of your head layer. So if you have things like hair or glasses on that extra layer of your head, don't worry, this will fit on top of that. Thanks so much for watching this episode of OMG Craft. I hope you enjoyed this episode on player heads, mob heads. We're losing our heads over here. If you liked this episode, leave a comment or a like down below, letting me know what do you think? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Let me know. If you want to see future episodes, you can subscribe at youtube.com slash omgcraft, and I hope you have a fantabulous day. See you next time. Bye!